Hey everybody, I'm Jason Parker, Olympic medalist in speed skating and co-founder of the Essentials for Life program where our goal is to uh, help, make, help make health simple uh, so that you can truly uh, take control of it yourself. Um, so today I, I wanted to just give you a little, bit of a, a little bit of background on what brought me to this point. And uh, so I wanted to take you on a little bit of, a, a little bit of an adventure and a little bit of a, a story on, uh, on just kind of uh, on my, my experience and what uh, caused me to, uh, to want to create this program. Uh, so basically, I started speed skating when I was just a young kid. I was uh, 11 years old, and uh, I grew up in, in the prairies of Canada in, in a little place called Yorkton, Saskatchewan. And I started competing at a high level really quite quickly. I started racing um, 16 weekends per year, and each weekend I would race 16 times. So, as I'm sure you can imagine, uh, that's a lot of stress to, to put on the body for anybody, uh, let alone an 11-year-old kid. Uh, so I had a lot of challenges with my health. I used to get sick after pretty much every competition. And it got really frustrating because I was going to see my doctor all the time. And, uh, and he, was, he prescribed you know, antibiotics and all kinds of different things. And, and eventually he came to the point where he thought that... Um, you know, I was putting so much stress on the body that I should be taking some, some nutritional products, some, some vitamin supplements and, and, and that sort of thing. And, and uh, so he, he had me trying all kinds of different things. And um, so I took all, all of his recommendations for, for a long time and, and uh, I continued on. And, uh, you know, nothing ever really seemed to make that much of a difference. And, and uh, the reason I'm standing here today is in the background, uh, you can see uh, it's a big building. This is, uh, this is actually the Olympic Oval, and this is in Calgary, Alberta. This is where I spent uh, the better part of my career training. And so when I, when I moved, I eventually moved from Saskatchewan. I moved here to Calgary uh, to pursue my Olympic dream uh, here, training at the Oval with the best speed skaters in the world under the best coaching. And with that, I had, uh, you know, I had... I ended up having a, a coaches, a strength coach, a, a physiologist, a physiotherapist, massage therapist, a sports psychologist, a registered dietitian. I had all these people, and their their purpose, their goal was to help me to to reach the pinnacle of my career and to help keep me healthy and help create just the highest performance possible that I could have as an athlete. And so when I moved here, I was really excited because obviously I figured that, you know, they were going to get my health on track. And so unfortunately, uh, I still struggled. I still kept getting sick all the time. I still got a number of, uh, you know, a number of different colds and flus and, and that sort of thing. And, you know, it just was it, it, even more and more frustrating because now this was years and years that this had gone on for. And... So a big, a big part of my story, a big critical moment in my story, takes place uh, inside this building. So uh, actually, I want to take you inside and, and show you where that happened. So, um, so we'll, be, we'll be right back. We'll see you in a minute. Here we are just at the entrance to the Olympic Oval. So we're almost in. So come on in, and we'll, uh, we'll be seeing you on the inside. All right, we're back. We're back inside the, the place, uh, the building where I... Um, I literally spent the better portion of my entire life. I would come here um, six days a week uh, up and I would train anywhere from six up to even eight hours a day here. And I, did, I was here for 13 years. So, uh, so this is, really is kind of like, like home for me. And as you can see, there's, there's some races going on in the background today. And, and uh, it, so it may be a little bit loud, but I apologize for that. But continue on with my story. Uh, so I moved out here in 1993 to pursue my, my dream of going to the Olympics and was still, even with all the support staff that I had, was still having a, just so many challenges with, with my health. And, and so my story bring, brings me into this building. Uh, one of the most important competitions for my life was in, in, um, in December of that year. Uh, I was trying out for the, for the 1994 Olympic team and, and I got really sick uh, prior to that and uh, obviously missed, missed that opportunity, but it was, it was, I was still pretty young at that point. Uh, so I, it wasn't that, that big of a deal. It wasn't really devastating for me, but um, so I continued on training, and, and really for me, um, probably one of my defining moments was uh, in, in December of 1997. So this is four years later now. Uh, I've been training for another four years. I've been on the national team for a little while. 
uh, still been having a lot of challenges with, with my health. Um, and in, in that December, I was in Europe. I was competing in some World Cups. I uh, did three World Cups over there, and I finished off in Norway. And then I was, had to come back to, to Canada. And so uh, I don't know how many of you have ever have traveled uh, in the winter time, especially around the Christmas holidays. Uh, but it, I mean, a lot of people uh, on flights, you know, when you're enclosed in that, that you know, big tube with, you know, two, three hundred other people, there tends to be a lot of people that aren't really, uh, aren't feeling too well and, and we're, are pretty sick. And so unfortunately, there was a lot of people on that flight that were really sick. And, and, and for me, uh, I just finished three competitions, three intense competitions. I had to get up really early to catch the train so we could catch the plane so that we could fly back to North America. So I had a, a weakened immune system to start out with. So unfortunately, I, I, ended up, uh, I ended up getting really, really sick. And, you know, I mentioned that this was, is, was truly a, like a pivotal moment in, in my career. Um, and the reason being is, was the timing of this, of this, this sickness. I ended up, like I said, I, 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 got, I got sick, but I didn't just get sick. I got really sick. I got a, just a terrible flu. I ended up, I, I spent like, um, I think it was five days I spent in bed. And I lost something like 10 pounds over that five days. And the reason it was so important is because this happened uh, 10 days before the most important competition of my entire career, the Olympic trials. Uh, so this is what I trained my entire life for, was to go to the Olympics. And so 10 days for those trials, I got this cold. I was out for five days. And so that left me with five days to try and recover, uh, to get back on track so that I could follow through and compete in this competition and, and achieve what I'd set set out to do for my entire life. That goal that I set when I was 11 years old, I decided when I was 11 years old I wanted to go to the Olympics. And so, needless to say, uh, I, I didn't recover soon enough. And I came out here and, and um, I competed. And it was nice. I had two chances. I had two weekends to compete. And the first weekend I, I skated really quite well. Um, but I... Um, I, I didn't, didn't. I just came up a little bit short, and and ended up. I needed to be in the in the top three, and I came fourth. So I was the alternate at that point. So I was like, hey, you know what? No big deal. I got another chance the second weekend, and uh, so next weekend I can come back and you know and just take that spot and achieve that Olympic dream that I trained my whole life for. And and so I had that that following week. I uh, had some really good training sessions. Started setting some personal best in, in training again. So I was so excited because I'm like this is it man my dream is finally going to happen i'm finally going to accomplish this what i set out and then uh, the night before the night before i competed i um i just i had some supper and i was hanging out uh, watching a movie with my with my roommate uh just kind of kicking back and, and chill and relaxing and and um and i just all of a sudden i started not feeling not feeling right i just started kind of feeling a little little something in in my in my stomach and and uh, so I went to bed because, you know, this was an important night for me. I needed a good sleep because the next day I was going to accomplish that, that Olympic dream. So I went to bed and, and about an hour, hour and a half later, uh, I, I figured out why my stomach wasn't feeling too good. And I ran, ran to the washroom and um, ended up really sick. I ended up, you know, uh, throwing up. And um, for the next, <laughs> the next six hours, every, every 45 to, to 60 minutes, um, it was back and forth to, to, from my bedroom to, my, to, the, to the bathroom. And, and it got to the point where I started getting so weak that um, I, 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 couldn't, I could hardly walk anymore. And so I got to the point where I was crawling back and forth uh, to the room to, to throw up. And, and then eventually I just ended up sleeping on the floor in the bathroom. I was just so, so sick. I ended up with a really, really nasty uh, stomach flu. Um, so I, I woke up the, the next morning. I... I, I called my coach and I told her what had happened, and, and um, I was I was obviously in, in tears because this is what I trained my my entire life for was to to make this team and, and to go to these Olympics, and and we just we decided that we were going to go for it anyways. You know, like who who knows that that you know the will can be really strong, and and so I I came I, I came to the oval, and and when I got to the oval, I was going down the stairs to to the locker room. And I was so weak, my, my legs actually gave out. Um, I, I know this may be surprising to sound, but my legs actually literally gave out. And I, I, I fell down some of the stairs on the way down to my locker room. And I don't know where I got the strength, but I still, I, I put my skates on. I went out there and competed. And, and I came up short. Um, 
I, I saw, I watched my, my Olympic dream um, uh, just just go away. And, and so I ended up, like, like many of you, will be uh, coming up here shortly with, with the next Olympics. Uh, I ended up in my apartment, um, and I had to watch the Olympics on my couch with my remote control in hand. But I had to watch all the people, all, all my friends, all my teammates, um, all the people who I'd grown up with and competed against and trained with, I had to watch them achieve my Olympic dream. And obviously I was devastated uh, because this is what I trained my entire life for was to go to those games. And um, I, had, I had a lot of decisions to make. You know, I was so frustrated because I had all these people who were helping me, who were shooting for me to, to try and, and make this team. And my health let me down. And now I want you to think about that. Where... You know, where, where is your health let you down? Or what would happen? What would happen if, you know, your health not only let you down, but let your whole family down? You know, because that's part of the reason why I'm creating this program. Uh, but sorry, anyways, continuing back to my story, I, I decided that, that I had a choice. I could, um, I could keep doing what I had been doing, which obviously wasn't working, or I decided to take matters into my own hands and just started to research nutrition. And so I started re reading every book that I could find on the topic and, and was just uh, ferocious in, in craving knowledge and information because there must have been something that I was missing. Um, and so that research led me to, <laughs> to one, one paragraph in, in one book that, that literally changed my life. And that book was called Optimum Sports Nutrition by Dr. Michael Colgan. And in that book, he wrote about uh, a scientist and the, how the research that this scientist, on what, how the research that he was doing on the human cells, on how to nutrient and feed those cells, how it was going to revolutionize the whole industry of nutrition. So I thought, well, you know what, hey, that sounds pretty good. Um, my background was, was exercise physiology. I was doing a degree uh, in kinesiology, and that was my focus at the time. And so I understood physiology, and I understood cells. And the things that I had learned uh, about the cell, I was blown away uh, when I heard the research that this gentleman was doing on those cells. So I started researching what he was doing um, and, and found out that he'd started, started, um, you know, he'd started feeding cells the nutrients in the proper amounts and the proper ratios of what they needed to thrive and survive. And so that led me on a new journey of, of seeking more information on nutrition on all the different topics, the seven different topics that we're going to touch on, on this, in this program. And I honestly believe that if I wouldn't have found that one paragraph in that one book, that I never would have continued on. I never would have gotten tra back on track with my health like I was able to. Uh, shortly after finding out that information and, and, and doing some more research and, and following his, his lead a little bit more, um, I was able to to finally, for the first time in my life, get feel in control of my own health. And some of the big things, like after, after about, um, about three or so months of following some of his principles, um, I, I noticed that I started sleeping better. I was recovering better from my workouts. Um, I had more energy, which was huge, because I felt like I, I was always running on empty. And, but the big thing for me was I, I stopped getting those those just absolute same brutal, 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 brutal colds and flus that I was so used to getting. Um, and I'm happy to say that, that that was now 14 years ago. And I've been following his, his lead for 14 years now. And I, I still, you know, I, I might get, get an occasional cold here or there, but it, it used to last for like two weeks, and now they last for three or four days. And so I can honestly say that that I truly owe, I owe, I owe my career uh, to that scientist, and we're going to talk about him in this program. Um, and I owe, I, I wouldn't be able to, to be announced or be introduced, and I wouldn't be able to have that Olympic medal. I truly believe in my heart I would never have that Olympic medal if it wasn't for him. So my goal in creating this program with Dr. Sam is I want to be able to share this information with you. Because uh, I know that you might not be striving to win an Olympic medal uh, like I was. You may be uh, just wanting to get that more energy like I was, I was looking for. 
Uh, you may just want to be able to protect your health. You, you might want to be, my, my new goal has changed. Now I have, I have a little girl, and, and so the, the thought of something happening to my health and me not being able to be there to, to see my little girl to graduate or to get married, that thought just devastates me. And I've had, just recently, I've had a number of uh, people uh, pass away recently uh, far too young from, uh, from different diseases that, that you know, may have been preventable. And uh, I just, I want to be able to, I just want to be able to help you. Um, the way I was, I was helped, my life had changed so much. Um, I want to be able to just pass that, pass that on to you. Uh, does that sound good? Does that sound like something you'd be interested in? I, I really hope so. And if it is, uh, I, strongly, I strongly urge you uh, to join me, join Dr. Sam in this Essentials for Life program. Um, we're going to take you by the hand and we're going to give you uh, a lot of really great information, information that you need to know because uh, it's, it's information that you're not hearing in a lot of places. Uh, so with that, I want to thank you for, for listening to my story. Uh, I'm going to have give bits and pieces of other stories along the way uh, just so that you get to know me a little bit better. And uh, I just I look forward to, to doing everything that I can in, in my power to just you know help give you the life uh, that you deserve. And, and so I want to share with you my essentials for life that I'm using with myself and my family uh, so that we can live a long and happy life. So if you haven't joined yet, join the program and we'll see you on the inside.